Can you learn about all the issues and threats happening to watersheds around the world? It can be overwhelming, and you may be thinking, but what can I do? Hi, I'm Carolyn Canock, and I'm from Lake Pondere Waterkeeper. As a member of the Waterkeeper Alliance, part of our mission is to educate our communities to not only care about their rivers, lakes, and bays, but also to inspire our local communities to take action. Your individual actions may seem small at first, but it's important to realize that doing something, no matter how insignificant it may seem, is better than doing nothing at all. If we all do small actions to help our watersheds, they can add up and make a difference in the world around us. For our last and final chapter in our Lake Ecology course, I'll be teaching you how to be a good environmental steward and what you can do to protect and preserve our natural resources. Most of our tips will be aimed at protecting water resources, but by taking care of our waterways, we're also taking care of our wildlife, our ecosystems, and our own communities. These actions are things you can do every day, or maybe plan with your friends and family. But first, let's start with something easy everyone can do. Let's go. Here, we're at Sandpoint City Beach, one of the most popular spots to go when you visit Lake Ponderay. I love to come here and go swimming in the summer, play basketball, or just go for a walk and watch the sunset. However, where there's people, there's trash. No matter where you go, whether it's the city sidewalks or a popular hiking trail, it's not hard to spot litter. It may be frustrating and upsetting to see garbage in such a beautiful place, but you can do your part by safely picking up the trash and disposing of it properly. By picking up litter, you are preventing it from washing into your local streams and lakes. On a rainy day, trash that's collected in our parks could directly wash down into our lake. This trash, such as plastic, metals, and glass, can harm aquatic organisms and bring harmful chemicals into our waterways. However, you don't have to be on the water to make a difference. If you go on a walk around your neighborhood or around town and see trash, you can use a spare plastic bag or a doggy bag to safely pick it up and put it in a nearby trash can. If not picked up by us, our neighborhood trash could get picked up by rain or melting snow and get washed into our stormwater system. Even if a stormwater filtration system is in place, it's hard to get everything out and trash inevitably ends up in our water. Speaking of stormwater, it's not just litter that drains into our waterways. When running over hard surfaces, such as sidewalks, driveways, and roads, stormwater can pick up oil spills, fuels, pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers as it flows into a nearby storm drain. Accidents and spills will always happen, but there are steps you can take to prevent these chemicals from reaching our waterways. If you spill any oil or fuels, or your parents do, Make sure to clean it up properly so that it doesn't wash away. Also, try to plant a garden or other plants on your property so that any rain is absorbed by the soil instead of running over concrete and asphalt. Finally, try to limit your use of pesticides and herbicides. Excess toxins could run into the storm drain and end up in our waterways, killing native plants and animals. Also, try to use natural or organic fertilizers and cleaning products. This will help prevent chemicals and excess nutrients from draining into the stormwater or potentially polluting our local waterways. Another way that you can help keep your waterways healthy is by participating in local volunteer opportunities. Lake Ponderay Waterkeeper hosts two major volunteer opportunities each year. Our shoreline cleanup event. On the other side of the bridge along the boardwalk all along Sand Creek there. So have at it. Thank you very much for coming out. We really appreciate it. And our water quality monitoring program. First thing I'm going to do is just take a sample. Each year around Earth Day, we encourage our local community to join us as we walk along our shorelines at City Beach and Sand Creek to pick up trash and litter before it washes into the water. Many other water keepers, organizations, and schools also hold cleanup events throughout the year. If you're able to, participating in a cleanup event is a great way to show you care about your natural resources, make a difference in your watershed, and meet other people interested in caring for the environment. Another volunteer opportunity we host is our Water Quality Monitoring Program. 
So this wire then goes is the one that's going to be released. Each spring, we train volunteers to collect data and samples that test 15 different physical, chemical, and biological parameters in Lake Pend Oreille and on the Pend Oreille River. This data is then used by agencies, such as the Idaho Department of Environmental Quality, to make informed decisions about our waterways and implement any necessary regulations to keep our waterways healthy. This program has been used to identify high levels of chemicals in our waterways that have caused toxic algae blooms. Thanks to our data, we were able to identify the issue and work to prevent it from happening in the future. For almost 10 years, thousands of data points have been collected by LPOW staff and volunteers. We are so grateful for our volunteers who dedicate their time to helping us protect and preserve Lake Pend Oreille and the surrounding watershed. If you are unable to participate in local volunteer opportunities, consider donating to an organization to help them host volunteer events or that work toward a healthier future. As a nonprofit, we depend on the support of our community and the generosity of our donors. It's a great feeling to know that you're making a difference, not only in your community, but you're also investing in the future of our environment and supporting future generations who will be able to enjoy our natural resources. One of the easiest ways you can help protect your waterways is by staying informed about what's going on in your watershed. By taking the time to learn about what's happening at the local, state, or national level, you have the opportunity to raise your voice and speak up for what you believe in. Here at LPOW, we keep an eye on what's happening around our watershed by attending local government meetings, reading the news, and listening to what other organizations are saying. It can be scary at first to stand up and voice your opinion, but remember that our natural environment can't speak for itself. We have to raise our voices and stand up for what we believe is right. If we don't stand up for our environment, then bad decisions can happen and can damage the world we live in and so heavily depend upon. In addition, it's important to educate ourselves about new technology or practices that can make an impact. If you hear about something interesting that you think could make a difference in your community, reach out to your local government or an organization that could benefit from what you've learned. We always appreciate when our community members reach out to our organization and either inform us about something of concern or a new idea. Thanks to local citizens, we have been able to identify local water quality hazards, speak out against poor legislation, and encourage our local government to take care of our watershed. If you ever have any questions about what's happening in your watershed, reach out to your local government or relevant organization. Your government and local organizations like us are here to help you participate and stay informed about what's going on locally and what you can do to help protect and preserve your natural resources. Thank you for watching our Lake Ecology video series. I really appreciate you taking along with me as we learned about lake ecology and what you can do to protect your watershed. Our lakes and rivers, including Lake Pend Oreille, are very special to us as we depend on them for clean drinking water, fishing, swimming, and more. If you have any questions about what we do here at LPOW or how you can get involved in your local watershed, reach out to us or find your local waterkeeper at waterkeeperalliance.org. Also, make sure to check out our website at lpow.org to read about our work, relevant issues, local news, or how you can support our programs and events. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the water. Mm -hmm.